Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of a Delta faucet. This is the 16971-SSD-DST. This is the Valino pull-down kitchen faucet with integrated soap dispenser. Okay, I'm also going to show you how to change the cartridge, and this is the replacement cartridge from Delta. If you want to replace your cartridge after years, it, this particular cartridge that's in here right now has lasted eight years, and it's just time to replace it. So, a little bit about this faucet. As I mentioned, it has this nice soap holder, and it has a nice long tube on there, and on the bottom it has a cup that holds the soap in there, and then you just push it to dispense it. Now this has worked flawlessly for eight full years and never failed. Very easy to fill also and keep it clean and so forth. Now the unit itself has a one handle operation. You can see the red there, so that's hot is that way and cold is that way. And it has pull down section right here. You can, always, you can adjust the pressure very nicely. And you can see right here that you have an option of spraying or direct like that. And when you want to retract this, just push up like that. And what happens is on the bottom of this, it has a counterweight on the bottom of this stainless steel braiding material. It has a counterweight that rolls when you do this. And then on the bottom of this, it has a magnet that's built into there that allows it to hold this in place. And that has worked also flawlessly for eight years. Now, once every couple of months, you might want to put a little CLR on this part right here and clean it out. And that will cause allow this to spray perfectly. Now, this has worked perfectly over those years and the finish has maintained unbelievable looks like new still I really like this because it's very simple it moves very easily you could use one hand if you have meat on your hand you don't want to contaminate something you use the back of your hand just like that to open and close the valve the adjustment is quite easy to do and it's been very reliable so I'm also going to have in the description the link to this spigot right here that we have a reverse osmosis filter on that you can also order. But uh, this particular unit, this Delta Valino pull-down kitchen faucet has worked very nicely. Now before I finish this video, this is gonna be a how-to video as well as the product review of this. I'm gonna show how to change that Delta cartridge. First thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove this knob and to do that take a really small screwdriver turn the water on and there is a little hot and cold indicator on here that you pop off see it's very small and you want to put that somewhere it's not going to drop into the sink you're going to need to replace that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the water supply off so that I can remove that hex nut on there to allow me to remove this handle. I want to mention that this replacement uh, Delta part is the RP50587. This is the Diamond Seal Technology Single Handle Cartridge and included is instructions also and I have the link to purchase this in the description and comment section. So the water is off. You can see there's no more water pressure. Now this is a hex nut and when you find the right size, I forget which one it is, I have this tool that has a hex nut on a ratchet. It makes it a little easier. So you place that into the hex nut And you turn counterclockwise. Kind of 
and there you have it. So it comes right off. And while you have this open, you might want to put a little CLR on that and clean, clean that off. So you can see, here is the valve. I'm going to be replacing inside there. And there is this outer cap that holds this, doesn't hold this in, but it's this there cosmetically, really. So we're going to turn that counterclockwise. And again, you can clean that out. This is actually a plastic material that's coated with the same stainless steel. Now you can see the valve right there. And just to point out, there's a little orange switch right there. And the replacement valve comes with the orange switch selected that direction. And if you swing it to the opposite side, it will limit the movement of this so that you don't get full hot or full cold. So by default, you want to have it all the way to the right. Now you can see it's a little loose. The top had broken off. That's why I'm replacing it. So this outer cap right here is what I'm going to loosen to allow me to remove that valve. Now you can use something like this. Just a basic wrench. Just take your time, go counterclockwise, and make sure you line up with the flat part of the brass. And then at some point you can turn it by hand. And we're going to clean all this out afterwards too with the CLR. So that piece came out just like that. And we're going to clean that before we replace it. There is a gasket right here. We're going to clean that also. Now we're going to slow lift this out and you'll notice that this is where it broke. But you'll notice that on the bottom it has a nice gasket and we're going to have that on the new one and we're going to replace this. So this is going to be thrown out and we're going to put the new one in. Before I do that I'm going to clean all of this up and then come back. Okay so I cleaned this out with uh, CLR and rinsed it with water to get any kind of a buildup off it. And also clean the handle so that it's ready to be installed. And I clean the cap also. And I clean the retaining nut also. Now in the manual, the little pamphlet that came with it, they mentioned having a torque wrench. Well, I have a torque wrench, but I don't have the proper size that fits this. So they also mentioned that you could use what I essentially use pliers and apply about 10 to 12 pounds of force. And I'm also going to use this old wrench, which is even better because it won't mar the finish. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some silicone grease. I'll have a link for that also. And that just causes these threads not to bind up and I'm just put a little bit on the inside of that thread use my finger to move that around just like that and then also on the threads on top same thing just, just takes a very little bit just like that and I'm going to put a little on that seal right there too I'm going to take the new valve and it goes this way with the orange pointing down and I have it set to the default position for full range of motion. And then I have the gasket. It stays in place because there's a little retaining slot on there like that. So I'm going to push it down in place just like that. And then we're going to make sure it stays in place like Turn it upside down, and it did. So now we're going to place this down onto the aligned position right there. And you can see it only goes in one way. It's still on there okay. Let's push it back in there. And you'll know when it's in there correctly because it feels just right. Now we're going to replace the cap in the same position it was in. And we're going to go clockwise 
on the threads as I'm pushing down on here. Test it, you can see it moves. And we're going to use this old wrench. If you don't have an old wrench, you can use the wrench that I used initially. This actually is an antique. You have to just play it by ear since I don't have a torque wrench. And they mention about 12 pounds of force. So I'm going to be conservative. I'm not going to do any more than that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, shut this off. And I'm going to go turn the water on and make sure that it doesn't leak. So I turn the water back on. And you can see it's not leaking. And I can operate the valve. Hot, or cold, that's hot, that's cold. Feels nice and smooth. So I'm not going to tighten it anymore. If it leaks in the future, which is probably not going to, I can just take that apart the mech and tighten that a little further. Now we complete the finish. We're going to put this cap back in place, turn it clockwise. You know, what I like to use is these rubberized pieces you get for drawers. And you can tighten that nicely just like that. And now we have the cleaned handle on there. Put that in place. I got my socket wrench here. And I'm going to turn the water on. Turn that clockwise by hand initially. And now I'll put it back on the socket wrench, tighten it further. I don't want to over tighten it. And then test out the valve. Very easy to move, feels very good. And then I could put that little cap back in place. And this little cap only goes on one direction. That's a hot point that way. And you push it and it actually snaps in place. And there you have it. You have a new valve in this great faucet by Delta. So just recapping, I really like this faucet. I've used it for eight years now. This is the Delta Valino pull down kitchen faucet. I showed you how to replace the cartridge in there if you need to over many years of time. So I really like this product. I like the replacement and I like the faucet itself. I'm going to give both these products a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to new video uploads. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.